Sarah Thomas, first female NFL official, will start as a line judge, former college official, began officiating in 1996, and she joins us now. Congratulations, Sarah. How long has this been a goal of yours? Well, thank you, Dan. Um, being an NFL official, whenever you reach uh, Division One or um, college or any small college, I think you, you just kind of have a taste. And uh, the fact of it being a goal of mine specifically was um, – not it in the beginning because, you know, as an official, you're just trying to get through each play and each game, and that's always been my goal. But I've always said that if the National Football League called, I wouldn't turn them down, and um, they called last Thursday, and, and I'm in. Thank goodness. What's that phone call like? Uh, it was uh, exciting when you see area code 212 <laughs> pop up. <laughs> On your phone this time of year, during the season, I don't know necessarily that I, I want to see that because it, it may mean something different. But uh, this time of year, definitely uh, worth picking up the phone and listening to Dean Blandino say, uh, welcome to the NFL. Anybody try to talk you out of doing this as a career? Never. Never. Well, that's good. I just didn't know if people would say, oh, you know, you're going to hear a lot of stuff and you're going to have people saying things to you. Well, Dan, if that was their way of trying to talk me out of it, I didn't take it that way. I think that that just comes with the territory and um, being a female um, in, in this sport, um, it was a novelty. But I think when um, the guys really see that uh, I just want to be an official and, and be recognized for that, that I'm, I'm going to bat with them, um, then they may say those things, but I didn't think that that was discouraging for me uh, continuing my career. Do you want to be known as a pioneer, or is it best that nobody knows the name of that female official because, therefore, you're doing your job? How, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand how that will work. Sure. What's the compliment for you? Well, the obvious is is that uh, this is a first, and, and I, I cannot take – that away, and, and nor do I want to downplay it because it, it's meaningful to a lot of people. But, Dan, when you officiate football, we all want to go unnoticed, and it is truly a mindset as officials that we're on the field. The best game we can work is the ones we can leave, and nobody even knew we were there. And I'm telling you, I have worked several games, and they they didn't even know a, a female was out there. So that's, that's how I want to blend <laughs> in. Um, but do I recognize what, what's happened? Absolutely. Did you ever have the college players say, excuse me, or sorry for my language? Um, no, not really. Uh, I, I've had them to call me sir, and then they apologize <laughs> for that. But, um, you know, no, the language, not at all. What about talking to the coaches? Well, it's, it's in anything, and, and I think that uh, any profession that you have, uh, when they want – you to answer a question, you know, we address it. I mean, you don't want to ignore them. That's the, the first form or the worst form of rejection, if you will. And so I just try to address it like I do anything. I mean, whether it's a, a position I'm calling on as a drug rep or whether it's on the field. And so just address what questions they have and, and move on. Sarah Thomas, NFL referee. She was talking about uh, drugs, a pharmaceutical rep prior to. Now, is that still going to be your job to go along with being an NFL referee? I sure hope so, Dan. I, I love being a pharmaceutical sales rep in, in Mississippi and the company that I work for. Novo Nordisk is um, exceptional in, in treating uh, these patients that I get to go and just try to try to help out every day. Give me the rule that's the hardest or going to be the most difficult for you to see or enforce. I tell you, from um, the line of scrimmage perspective, um, there's so much that is happening, um, and so we just want to be a line of scrimmage expert, headlines and in line judge. We want to be an expert at, at what happens on the line. But a lot of people have a tendency to say that holding is, is a very difficult call to make. But, um, you know, I think just grasping everything from uh, the collegiate level onto the national football level, the transition and everything is – it's something that I've got a lot of work ahead of me as any new official that's being hired this year has. If I'm going to argue with you, mm -hmm. how do I go about that to get my point across without drawing your ire? Just ask me. Just, uh, you know, just shoot it to me straight is what I say. Just, I understand the game, Dan. I mean, it is a passionate, competitive game. It's, it's football. Um, and 
if if I've I've done something or an official has done something and a coach wants to address it or he wants to argue about it, I don't want to get into an argument with anyone. I just I I, I respect their opinion and um and I'll and I'll address it myself. How physical of a job is it? Demanding. Absolutely. Um look at these athletes. Have They're, you ever been run over? Um, I have not been run over, but I have been um flipped in the air, but I got up. Oh my God. <laughs> uh yeah, that would be the – but you have to position yourself where you get out of harm's way. Well, sure. Um, and, that's and hard that's to do the, sometimes, isn't it? Well, they're, they're very quick, for sure. <laughs> but, um, you know, with all the officials, I, I think we, we definitely want to be in the position uh, mechanics teaches us, teaches us that so we can make the call. Um, and it does prevent us from being in harm's way. But um, we're all wanting to stay out of the way and – and just officiate. What are the next few months all about for you? Preparation, preparation, preparation. But, but what does that mean? Watching game, um, film? Uh, well, Dan, there's no off-season in officiating at all. Um, you're constant, constantly looking at film. You're constantly talking to mentors, uh, other game officials um, when you're not on the field. Um, doing quizzes. We're in the middle of doing quizzes now. That started in February. Uh, of course, uh, training and, and working out, that, that's all part of it. And then clinics and mini camps and training camps. Give me a, qu- give me a question on the quiz. Um, let's see. You want me to read you one? Yeah. yeah. Let's see here. I may have. Stand by, Dan. All I right. got you one. All right. We got uh, Sarah Thomas, NFL referee, joining us, and she's going to give us an idea what the uh, quiz is like. Sort of a pop quiz. I'm a little nervous, but we have McLovin in the back row. Who can help us? All right. So, Sarah, it's a group effort on our end if uh, I can't come up with the answer. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Is this going to be an easy one or a tough one? They're not ever easy when they come across this way, Dan. It may be a little too <laughs> too, too uh, drawn out for, for, for radio for sure. Okay. All right. So you can dumb it down for me. All right. So let's see. You've got A, first and ten. On the B40. And you've got offensive lineman flinches before the ball is snapped. What do you have? Uh, I I guess, is it a legal procedure five-yard penalty? There you go. That's an easy one. Okay, now give me a tough one. Let's see. I almost outsmarted my stuff self there. I thought, uh uh-oh. I'm wanting to give you a good one, Dan. Let's all right, see. All right. I mean, just crush me with this one, Sarah. All right. By the way, was Des Bryant that was that a catch? Well, I can tell you, uh, Dan, we're we're just the enforcers of the rules. <laughs> just as a, an observer, come on, you already sound like an official, Sarah. Because I am, Dan. <laughs> all right, back to the question. I tried to. All right, here I, you go. You ready? Cross you. Yep, this here is- we go. All right, so you got A, fourth and five at the A, 40. Punter A, one's kick is rolling at the B, 16, where A, five tries to down the kick and touches the ball there. It continues to roll to the B, 10, where returner B, one scoops up the rolling kick and returns it to the B, 20, where he fumbles the ball. Sarah, that, Sarah, that ball is dead. Is it now? Yes. All right, you want me to keep reading? I don't need to. I just I... so here's your here's your answer. A first and goal is a B one. You have a first touching violation that occurred in this play. Not an illegal touch of the kick, as the play that was out of bounds for K A five was not the first K player to touch the kick. So you've got A's ball first and goal at the B one. Oops. Upon further review, I made a mistake. Stake, stake, stake. Um, well, there was more to that question, but yeah, Dan, these, these questions and these quizzes, and like I said, there's a transition that, uh, from college to professional that uh, I'm going through as all of the other officials are as well. Can I get something from you? It depends. It does? Well. How about your first game? Can I have your flag? I'm afraid I cannot let you have that, Dan. 
What can you give me from your first game? I can put my man cave here. Well, you want to run that through my husband first, and we'll see. <laughs> Wait. I don't think I can. I really don't think I can, Dan. You're not allowed to. What if What if your husband gives something to me from your first game? Well, maybe. Would you rather talk about the Des Bryant catch? Uh, we can go on. <laughs> All right. Well, have your husband get a hold of me and my people, and if there's something that we can put on display to uh, to showcase that that first game, even if it's a preseason game, Sarah, I would even do that. Dan, I'm honored that you asked. Um, I will definitely I will talk with uh, with the NFL office and just see what they say. But more importantly, congrats. Uh, great. Uh, I know you worked uh, a long time for this opportunity. So uh, hopefully, I won't be criticizing you. Uh, you know, on Monday morning or Sunday night. Be gentle <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Okay, thank you, Dan. That's uh, Sarah Thomas, NFL official.